Howdy folks, you are back on CITR 101.9 FM. I am Jasper, I'm joined with my colleague Kira. We are broadcasting live from the Study and Go Abroad Fair at the Vancouver Convention Center, open now until 6 p.m. We're joined by Zhao Ying. Zhao Ying, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having me. It's great to meet you. Um, now you are here with Education USA. That's right. Can you tell us a little bit about Education USA? Happy to. So Education USA is a free advising service provided by the U.S. government. We do not represent any specific universities from the state, but we are here to help students with the process. I see. So you are a resource organization for yes. students who will want to study in the United States. That's right. Oh, that's great. Uh, I feel like resources of that nature are always in demand and in short supply. You'd be surprised by how many people don't know about us. That's right. why I'm here. Oh, fantastic! So, um, so how can people like like how can people access your your resources? Mm -hmm. I would say our website is the, a great place to start. Okay. Uh, on our website, we have a wealth of resources that students can access and sort of use it as a DIY guide. Uh, we have very easy to access things like PDFs they can download, um, which includes things like application timelines, application checklists, if students are doing their applications right now. But we also do a lot of events, both virtually and in person. Our goal is always to uh, showcase the diversity of U.S. higher education because there are so many of them and not all students have the resources to go visit campuses themselves. So we bring the universities from the states here to Canada to meet with students individually or directly, either online or in person. Uh, so we have a virtual showcases where students can meet a number of universities at once, but we also have a spring fair where we uh, bring anywhere from 50 to 60 universities universities all together at once to meet students uh, in person. That's a fantastic resource. I'm recently a graduate, like recently graduated, was a student very recently, and the process of kind of going through each individual university's website and figuring things out and trying to get a sense of what they can offer can be, can be a difficult and daunting process, so having a place to go that kind of kickstarts that journey for you or offers you the opportunity to meet people in person is, is greatly valuable. That's fantastic. I'm so happy to hear that. And beyond our website and our different events, if students have specific questions about their situation, we also offer one-on-one -on -one advising sessions with our advisors. Um, they Doing these 30-minute uh, Zoom sessions, students can ask really personalized questions about the specific questions they have. I have a question for you, Zhao Ying. Yeah. Um, I imagine you have sort of a really good, broad perspective of what uh, you know students might expect in a number of different areas when applying for school. Do you have some advice that you could give to prospective students who are trying to find the right fit right now? Like, what are some things they should keep in mind when applying to uh, uh, universities and colleges? Yeah, that's a really great question. Um, I think one thing I, I find myself repeating to almost every student um, is to really understand that there is no formula to U.S. admissions. Um, U.S. universities, especially the selective ones, they use a method called holistic uh, holistic evaluation, meaning that everything you present on your application will be taken into consideration when they evaluate you. And the best advice I can give to any students who are in high school or even younger is to pursue what you are interested in, not what you think will get you into a good university. Because in the end, if everybody is pursuing what they think might get them into university, you will all end up doing the same thing. And that whole idea of standing out on your application is never going to happen if you just do what, what you think everybody is doing. But instead, if you pursue something that you are truly interested in, your, your passion, your commitment, your lasting interest will really show up in your application in the end because that's not something you can fake if you spend years pursuing something. Wow, I, I think that's an excellent sentiment to end on and I think that's really that's great advice, and I, 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 I'm so happy to hear that. Because, um, you know, to share some personal experience, I didn't feel that way when I was applying for universities. Like, I didn't understand, um, you know, I didn't know that was a, uh, 
that, that was one path that one could take. So mm -hmm. that's great advice. Thanks so much for sharing that, Jay. Well, thanks um, again for having me. Um, just before we leave, how can people find you on the internet? Um, you're, you'll be here till 6 p.m. talking to people in person. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're available to come, you can come before then. But if they can't come, how can they find you? Um, you can find us on our website, educationusacanada.ca, or if you simply Google Education USA and Canada, you will be able to find us. Um, you can find us on the U.S. State Department's website as well if you want to go the more official route, but simply educationusacanada.ca will lead you right to us. Great. Thank you so much, Jai, for, for spending time with us today. Thank See you, you for you having on. me again, Jasper and Kia. Very nice meeting you. Great to meet you, you too. too. That was Zhao Ying from Education USA uh, slash Fulbright Canada, live on CITR 101.9 FM here at the Study and Go Abroad Fair. We're going to throw to some music and be right back. Mm -hmm. 